Welcome back to another Olive video editing tutorial. In this video, we'll learn how to speed up and slow down a video clip. Um, it's actually quite easy to do. We just right click on the clip we want and go to speed duration. And that brings up this dialogue here. Oh, and we can just change, we increase the speed. So 100% is just the normal speed. So 200% would be twice as fast, 2x speed. We can go up to thousands of percent. Uh, you can also do it based off of the frames if you want to, but if you're more familiar with frame rate, you might want to play with that, but you can just ignore that and just go off of the percentage of the video. And then it shows down here what the duration will be. So if we, we can, and we can even target that. We can say, we don't care. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, let's see how long this video clip is first. So what this is, this is a, a video clip of me uh, priming a building. This is actually the building I'm in right now. This is my office inside this shipping container, this steel shipping container on the right. This is last week when I primed it and painted it. I'm still kind of working on the outside. But uh, this video clip here is, if we scroll to the end, it's about five minutes long of me just painting, uh, priming this building. And so that's pretty long. If we hold down the control key and scroll out with our zoom wheel, we can see the start to finish this whole five minute project. Uh, so what I might want to do, instead of saying I want to increase this video by 500%, I could just right click on the video clip and then go to speed duration. And then I can change and say, let's instead of having it be at 100%, it's four and a half minutes long. I could just um, change this. I can double click on it and say, I want it to be uh, one minute long. And they'll say, okay, if you do it 457%, that makes it one minute long. Does that make sense? We can also double click on the speed and say we want it to be 1,000% and hit okay. And that'll say, all right, at 1,000%, the frame rate is gonna be 600 frames per second. You can ignore that if that, if that doesn't mean anything to you. And then your duration will be 27 seconds. So I probably want this, I don't wanna waste people's time, so I probably want this video clip to be no more than 10 seconds. So let me just change this to 10 seconds here. Uh, 1032 is fine. Okay. So I guess a tiny bit more than 10 seconds and hit okay. So what that's going to do is if I zoom out here, I can see that'll play this video clip. Oh, I messed up, didn't I? So this is super slow motion. So now I'm spraying here super slow. Let's see what I did. I was trying to make it fast, but what did I actually, what did I accidentally do? I made the duration 10 minutes long and it was five minutes before. So I need to change that. Let's go to zero and let's go 10 seconds. That's better. This is exactly 10 seconds. Now it'll be nice and short. So now we see it's a teeny tiny clip. It's not gonna last very long at all. I can hold down the scroll wheel and zoom in. It's important to know the difference too. When I'm zooming in like this, this does not affect the speed that the video is played back. It's just how I can see. It's the same as clicking the plus and minus here in the timeline. It affects the way the timeline's viewed, not the speed of the video clip. So this first video clip here is played normal speed. It's gonna be way cool. And the second video clip is played at 2,755%. It looks very choppy right now, right? And that's just because my computer is kind of slower and I'm doing a video recording right now. But when we render this out, it's gonna be nice and smooth. And I think it's gonna look pretty good. So this, this playback just shows us roughly kind of how it's gonna look without like destroying our computer processor. So that's pretty cool. The clouds are gonna be going by. It's gonna show me spraying that. Um, so that'd be pretty good. Um, also, one thing I wanna point out, I'm gonna render this out so we can see the, the final product. But we did do a little bit slow there, didn't we? And so when you do slow, when, when you do anything actually, when it's sandwiched in between a video clip, you might wanna use this uh, ripple flag. So if we go back to speed duration, um, there is a flag here or a checkbox we can go ripple changes. And so play with that a little bit. I'm not gonna do it because I just did this one. But the ripple changes makes it so it won't overwrite the clip in front of it or so that it won't change the size of the clip that you're already working in. So if I were to, to do ripple changes on this one right now, uh, where's it at? Oh, speed duration. If I were, were to change the speed back to 100%, maybe I'll just do it real quick. We'll change it to 100% and we'll say ripple changes. What that's gonna do is uh, change it and then push that clip in front of it without actually erasing that clip. So we still have this clip at the end. Whereas if I didn't do that, if I go speed duration and I and I change it to 100% without 
checking the ripple, it just keeps it the same. It doesn't push it out longer, but it keeps the video at normal speed for what, 10 seconds. So it's just a normal speed video now at 10 seconds. It's 100% speed, but it keeps that same length of the original clip. Again, if you're hazy on how Ripple works, check out the last video. We kind of talk a little bit more about that. Um, so I'm gonna hit Control Z so that we have the sped up version here. Oh, I was gonna show you slow real quick. So let me Control copy this. I'll get a new one over here. So let's say I wanna slow, you can do it the same way. We did it on accident earlier. If we right click, let me get here so you can see what's happening. Uh, so we've got this clip. If we take this clip here and we right click on it and we go to speed duration, we can change the speed. If we do it below 100%, then it's slow. So if we do this 50%, it's gonna be half speed. It's still 29.97 frames per second, which is great, but now it's gonna be slow and it slows the audio and the video. And so, and we can slow it, we can do it really, really slow. In fact, we could go speed duration. This helps kind of illustrate the frames, what's happening with frames, right? The frame rate is 29 frames per second. Every second, 29 frames are being flashed before our eyes. But if we change it as slow as one frame per second, it's gonna be really interesting. So every second, one, 1,000, two, 1,000. So it's doing a little, every second is changing the frame a little bit. Anyway, that helps you kind of see what's going on with frame rates. So you can slow it very, very, very slow, but you lose kind of, you lose some of the smoothness when you slow a video clip down too slow. Let's just delete this. Oh, oh, I, I know what I wanted to point out. One other thing is that, what did I do here? So hold on the control wheel, zoom out. Um, I also have this audio and I don't know because I couldn't really hear, but you guys probably heard. This is all sped up now. So you might hear the audio. Yeah, you hear that high pitched kind of audio sound with, with the spring. At this speed, I don't really want the audio. So I'm gonna get rid of that audio before I render it out. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to this uh, link unlink. And now I can select the audio separately and press the delete key and delete just the audio. And so now I can just play back this without the audio. I could even throw some music in there if I wanted to. Let me render this out to, do, to render. We haven't covered render a whole lot. We've done it a little bit. We just um, come up here in the top right, go to file and go to export. It brings up this dialog here. And uh, this quality, I always change this down. If you hover over, it tells you. So if you hover over it, it says, Zero is lossless. So zero means there's no compression. Compression just means it makes the file size smaller. It's easier to send in an email or to upload to like YouTube or something, um, but it's worse quality. So by default at 36, if you do 51, this is gonna be terrible, terrible quality. It'll be like you step back in time to like 2000. If you come over to, um, so 1718 is a really good one to do. You can do anywhere in between, but just keep in mind lower is better for quality on this. And then I keep everything else the same. My frame rate is gonna be 59.94, so 60, almost 60 frames per second. That's how I shoot all my video, and that's how I record my desktop screen captures, and that's how I upload all my video is in 60 FPS. So keep this the same, I'll click export, it brings up another dialog where I can choose where to save it on my computer. So I'll call this speed test, and it's a .mp4 file is what we told it to do. And then it's just gonna be take so it's gonna take about a minute, so I'll speed up the video here until this is done rendering. Okay, looks like that finished. So let me find the video. I saved it here to my uh, videos directory. What the? Oh, that's the USB drive. Um, and what did I call it? Speed test. Painting the new office today. It's gonna to be way cool. So this is the time lapse. I come here, do some spring. Just takes 10 seconds. We see the clouds going by. Everything's nice and smooth and rendered well in 1080p, 60 frames per second, and then just shows the end there. So um, yeah, that's speed and slow. Hopefully, um, yeah, I think you'll be able to, to do that one pretty well. Just make sure wh whatever's, whatever you're clicked on, uh, if you have two clips selected and you go to speed and slow, this one's gonna not let us do it because there's clips of different speeds. But if you have two clips that are the same speed, these ones are both 100%. You could, we could go to speed and slow and we can speed up both of them. And in that case, it's gonna make both of them short. So we did this one, oh, my, my video was probably covering that for you. But now we've made both of these short, the first one and the last one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Go ahead and leave your questions, comments below if you have any, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video.